day to all my students in Industrial Electronics Laboratory. Today we're going to discuss and perform experiment 4 which is relay with switch on delay. So this is our uh, module. So this is already uploaded in our Alberto classroom. So let's now go directly to our task wherein you are going to modify the circuit such that the two lamps will sequentially switch on and off simultaneously. Okay? So you are going to use a relay with switch on delay and an, an ordinary relay only. Okay? So this is our uh, experiment circuit and this task will be due on June 25. Okay, so let's now go directly to our simulation. So let us use the Festo Fluid Sim software. So I have already prepared the circuit. So we have here our control circuit. This is our load circuit. These are the two lamps. These are our auxiliary uh, contacts, R1 and R2. So meaning we have two relays. R1 is an ordinary relay, R2 is a relay with switch on delay. So from the term switch on delay, R2 will switch on after a certain period of time. In this case, the delay that was set for R2 is 2 seconds. So the relay will switch after 2 seconds. Okay? You can adjust this uh, value uh, depending on uh, the time you want in seconds. So I don't think you can, uh, there are limit as to the value that you're, you can enter here. So we will just set it for a short period, two seconds, in order for you to, uh, to look at the uh, behavior of the relay. So again, this is a relay with switch on delay. So you can see the difference when it comes to the diagram. So the relay with switch on delay has an X here. The ordinary relay is just like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we will run the simulation and let us observe the, the behavior. Now as you can see, R1 an ordinary relay is directly connected to our push button. So when this is energized, R1 will also close. So it will latch, keeping R1 latched. And R1 here will also close, energizing lamp 2. So when R1 is uh, latched, this will also close, uh, energizing our R2. But since this is uh, on delay, it will wait for 2 seconds before R2 will uh, turn on. So when that happens, this R2 will also close, latching our R2, and this will open in such manner that this will unlatch, this will open. So lamp 2 will turn on, and lamp 1 will turn off. So let's now try our simulation. So press our push button. As you can see, lamp 1 is already on. Lamp 2 is on after 2 seconds switching off lamp 1. But as you can see, the simulation will only stop there. That's why your task is to, uh, is to modify in such a way that the lamps will just continue to switch on and off continuously. Okay? So in our experiment, since this is already, uh, the simulation already stopped, we cannot do anything, okay? So even if we press, uh, uh, the R1 could never latch because R2 is open, so we'll just stop the simulation and start again. So if, we, if we push the cross button, R2 will uh, turn on after two seconds, okay? 
So, uh, I have prepared the simulation. So, let me see if we can run that simulation. Okay, so we have here a simulation that I want to show you. So this is what you're going to do. So as you can see, the lamps uh, 1 and 2 are switching sequentially, continuously. So this is what I'm referring to. You just have to modify the, the circuit so that the lamps will be continuously switching on and off sequentially and continuously okay so that's that what i meant by uh, sequential okay and continuous so if you look at this uh, our experiment the experiment will just stop after lamp 2 is turned on. It will, it will not go back to uh, lamp 1. And your task is to do this. To see to it that the lamps 1 and 2 will sequentially turn on and off continuously. Okay? So this is just continue. It, it will never stop we start the simulation okay so i want you to uh, modify the circuit this one and uh, just just imagine because you don't have the software that the soft that, that the circuit will be that the lamps will be switching on and off simultaneously sequentially and continuously okay so thank you and good day